athlete Jean Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, Army extraordinaire, coming to you from Beckley's Camic Center today to show you the all new 2021. This is the clicker, the, the clicker, it's the clipper 9.0. TD, and of course this has the V package. We're gonna go over all that in detail, and as you can see, I'm gonna tell you about this screen room. I know they call it an ad room, but really, it's a screen room, let's be real. So, uh, for more information on this camper or any others, just reach out to me, here's my number right there, and be more than happy to answer your questions uh, and find that perfect camper for you. Remember, if you're in the market, buy from the best because you deserve it. So let's get on to this clipper. So because I know this is important, I get a lot, this is probably one of the most uh, most asked questions I get, and that is how tall this thing is. So when you get the 15 inch tires with the V package and you're getting this roof rack, what you have is to here, you're under seven feet tall, okay? You're actually, from a length, from an actual thing, and this is with the 15 inch tires, you are right at 75 and a half inches. Now to the top of the rail right here, on this roof rack, you're just at about 86 and a quarter inches with the 15 inch tires. Now it comes standard with 13 inch tires, when you don't get this off-road package, then obviously this is gonna be much lower. For, so for those of you that were looking to put it in your garage, Overall length on this is 13 feet, tip to tip. And again, the height, if you were to get this roof rack and the 13 inch tires, you're gonna be, you should be down under uh, seven feet. So hopefully that helps you out there. Um, but for all the rest of the specifications, weights, pricing and everything, look down below the video and or reach out to me. Again, my number right there. So as far as a couple of the other specs, uh, overall width on this, when you're looking at just the width of the body itself, is just under five feet. Now when you include the wheels and the wheel wells, or your, here, you're gonna be just under seven feet total width. So those of you that had a seven foot garage door should be fine, and that's even with these 15 inch tires. Now, as you can see up in the front here, you're gonna get one LP bottle, and then the, it's gonna come standard with one battery. Now, there is room, if you needed to, you might be able to finagle a second battery up front there for those of you that are looking to do some boondock and you need some extended 12 volt power. And then, of course, as you can see right up underneath the tongue there, there is your spare tire. Notice how it's not the small one, it's the same size so you're not gonna have an issue if you need to change one out. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the rack that's on the roof. Let me get up over here so you can actually see it. So this is the roof rack here. So it's 58 inches wide, side to side, 24 front to back. So hopefully that can, you can see how the back rail is a little bit higher than the front rail. Now, one thing they do nice on these, most, most campers, well, all campers are required to do this, where they're gonna give you the gross vehicle weight rating sticker. That's gonna be right here, 2,122 pounds. And then they give you your um, cargo carrying capacity with your tire sticker right there, telling you uh, cargo carrying capacity of 809 pounds. But the nice thing is what they do here is the fact that they actually place the dry weight sticker so they're actually weighing the trailer for you. Now be careful on this. Don't go by what the brochure says as far as the tongue weight because that's gonna come down to a number of factors. One thing that they're talking about, dry weight, does not include the battery and propane on the front, so you're gonna to need to add that. That's gonna be at least 65 pounds. Then, taking a look at, look at your storage you've got. Good storage up in the front here. So you're going to be uh, cognitive of the things that you're going to be placing in that storage facility. But I mean, it's a nice, that's a lot of storage for such a small camper. And of course, uh, don't forget about what you're going to be putting on the roof because the majority of that is going to be going to the tongue. So 
be, be aware of that for your tow vehicle. Now, staying on this, this side here, if you have the V package, you're gonna get the water heater and then the outside shower. Now, the nice thing with the outside shower, you have both hot and cold water. So you'll be able to use that. Now, keep in mind, with the 9.0, you're going to have 16 gallon holding tank. So you'll have to be aware of that if you're uh, using the water and not hooked up. So you're, the fresh water tank, and then of course, if you're hooked up to city water, then it shouldn't be that much of an issue. You might want to get yourself, uh, what I always recommend for customers of mine is that pan that you would put up underneath a, a wash machine, rig it up so that the water would drain away from you. That way there you don't have a mud hole standing right there. Now, of course, for those times you're going to be hooked up to power, your cord is stored right inside. Now, the nice thing with that, you're not having to worry about storing it somewhere else. The downside, keep in mind, that is a highway to your camper. So my recommendation would be get some brass wool, put it on here, and that way there when you close this, that brass wool is going to be sticking out there. Those critters are not going to be able to climb or get in through that little opening there. Now, if you want to go ahead and a secondary way of keeping critters out, you go ahead and put some Vaseline on your electrical cord from the ground up several inches, keeping them from climbing up your cord. Now, an another standard feature you're going to get is the four stabilizer jacks. You have two on the back and you're going to have two on the front. Now, my recommendation would be, because, because of the height, get yourself some six by sixes if you have the capability of carrying some additional stuff for you. Put one under the tongue and put one under each stabilizer jack. Trust me, you'll be happy you do that. That's less room that you got to put it down and it's a better base and it'll stabilize your camper much better. Of course, don't forget about the tire chalks because if you keep your wheels from moving front and back, the more stable your camper will be. Now you're going to like the fact that even the running lights are LED lights, so it's going to be nice. Uh, they're smaller but brighter. Of course, it does come with heat, so you can have a, uh, it's a 12 volt propane style heater, so 12 volt fan propane for your heat. This is the drain for your kitchen sink, so you're going to want to place probably a bucket or connect a hose to that, put it in a drain. Then of course you have for the back of your refrigerator, which is right here, 12 volt, 1.6 cubic foot, 110 only refrigerator that comes standard on this camper. Now on the other side, this is where you're going to be able to hook up your grill and there's a couple other things I'm going to go over with you. Here this is a... a this is a port for you if you wanted to put a solar panel that allows you to go ahead and attach to that to extend your boondocking capabilities. Of course, you have access to your pass-through storage on this side. Your water heater. This is going to be a suburban water heater. And it's propane only, so it's going to need 12 volt to light it, and then it's pro, uh, just propane. It's going to give you about 10 or 11 gallons of hot water an hour. So keep that in mind. Then of course there's antenna. That is for your stereo that's on inside, which I'll show you a little bit later. Now they also, they hang, they put this thing here so you can hang your outside grill. Now I'm, I am not one to recommend that you hang your grill on the side of your camper because then you're opening the lid. It's gonna be close to your camper. Over time that is gonna damage that sidewall. And then in my estimation, that additional weight on that, over time, I just think it will deteriorate the camper. My recommendation would be to place it uh, on a table, which, and it does come with a table, which I'll show you. It's a little table like that, that you can actually bring out here and place it on the, uh, the table as well. And this is where you're gonna connect your LP. Now, some of you might just have the Blackstone griddle, and so that might not even be an issue. And then, of course, the AC exhaust on this side. So this is the other side of the camper and what you're going to see. So now let's talk about this screen room that you have. Now, they call it an atta room, but an atta room actually gives you privacy in all sides. This one does not have that. Let's talk about the dimensions on this. So I think you're going to enjoy having this 
for sure because as you can see it does have the vinyl top keeping the rain off of you it's going to be eight feet in length six feet across and the cool thing is right here in the middle this is eight feet tall right here so going to give you a lot of room not going to have the heat on you and so forth and it's going to give you some protection from the weather now there is ways that you can go ahead and tie, uh, tie down the sides down to the ground just using some stakes uh, keeping them in place and of course then if you put your your um, awning mat down below that that's going to give you a nice little area for you to hang out and enjoy your camping so let me just give you what it looks like from here as you can see the yellow that's what's going to keep the rain off of you while you're using it so as you can see, you have the zipper on this side of the camper. Of course, I took the table that was that you're able to store up in the front and just set it in here. Of course, as I would mentioned earlier, it does come with a gas grill. When I was talking about tying these things down the ground on all of these, as you can see, you have this and you're able to go ahead and tie that down the ground if you wish, and then keep that secure from a base standpoint. Looking on the back side of the camper here. Now it does have a little nice little bottle opener. That's in a convenient location. And of course it is pet friendly. Now what they mean by that is you have your little tie off here. So you can uh, lock your leash for your pet right there. Just remember to remove that pet from there before you leave. So let's go on inside and see what we've got. This is a quick look at what the camper, the space you're going to have. Now that bed is 54 inches wide by 74 inches in length. So about a double, but it has nice windows on either side, as you can see, giving you the ventilation. But then you also have the blackout curtains if you wanted to have the privacy or not have any light coming in. Has a little light switch back up underneath there so you can shut off those lights. And then of course you can see the little storage up above so you can put things there as well. Now of course while you're laying in bed if you wanted to enjoy some music because you have some music on your phone as you can see the speakers will be right above you going ahead and allowing you to enjoy the music as you uh, relax. Speaking of the music, this is your AM FM stereo. Of course, it's Bluetooth. You have an aux plug as well. So you're able to adjust it right there. A little storage door below here. Of course, you can see, I mean, I have a box in there right now, but that gives you an idea of the depth and the height. Moving behind that, there's where you have your window size air conditioner. So that's going to keep it nice and cool in here for you. We should allow you to get out of the weather. And then keep in mind that most of the time you're going to be in here in the evening, not during the day for the most part. So this will actually cool the place down for you. Now directly across from that, you have your refrigerator. And I have that set up in, in a nice way. Basically, most of the time you're going to be on the outside. So it actually opens up from that direction there. And as you can see, this is a 1.6, 110 refrigerator. So... That's what that is. Now, of course, obviously, if you're boondocking, you're not going to be able to use that. And then, of course, your furnace blows right from here. This will be your furnace. And trust me, this would keep you very warm in this, in this camper. Below that is your 12-volt. This is where your breakers and fuses will be. Easily accessible, which is nice. So that, and then your sink and the counter. Now, I know you're probably saying, Paul, how do you operate that furnace? Well, that is right here, and as you can see, very easily accessible. And then, of course, for charging your phone and so forth, you have um, your 110 GFI outlet right here, which will also go to the outside, and your LP leak detector. Then, of course, under the counter here, you have your water pump switch, 
and this is your 110 GFI protected uh, outlet. And of course, you can see right there, a little green light there. That's for your LP leak detector there. So that is right there. That's it. Now, I want to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like under the bed. Now, these studs have struts on them. I'm sure you could always put it on, but there's your fresh water tank. And there's very easily accessible for your water pump. Water heater with the bypass is right over here. And of course, you can see your portable toilet. Now, you do have a door in front of here that you're able to get to that toilet, so you don't have to lift up the bed in order to get your porta potty out. I'm just showing you how your porta potty is accessible with the bed down. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Clipper 9.0. This is the TDV, meaning that this one has that package on it for off-road, as the roof rack has the 15-inch tires. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My phone number's right there. And uh, of course, my email and so forth, other contact information down below the, wind, uh, the video here along with the specs and pricing on this unit. So remember, if you're in the market, you deserve it. Work with the best, give me a call, and let's find that perfect camper. So you have a great day, and we'll talk at you again soon. Take care.